Let's take a look at how to print the audio that's coming from Reason Adapted onto audio tracks inside of Pro Tools. So, here's what's going on. I've got three audio streams coming from Reason Adapted, and they're being fed into two instrument channels inside of Pro Tools. Now the subtractor channel is actually a mono channel, but the mono to stereo delay is making it a stereo track. If I take it off, you can see it goes back to mono. Now in order to record these channels, I'm going to need some audio tracks, and I'm going to recall a memory location here. I've got one stereo audio track and one mono. So now we need to configure the output of the instrument tracks and the inputs of the audio tracks, and we do that using the I.O. section. I'll output the stereo instrument to bus 5 and 6, and that will be the input on the uh, stereo audio track. And on the mono instrument, I'll use bus 7, which is a mono bus, and that will be the input on the mono audio track. Record enable, and hit play. Now if you don't hear anything when you hit play, you'll need to switch on input monitoring from the track menu. I'll just come up here, switch it on. Also, if you want to monitor the record enabled tracks with effects, just go ahead and put some on there. And if we go back to the edit window, you can see the two audio tracks, record armed and ready to go. I'll just make the track a bit bigger and come over and name the tracks, Reason and Subtractor Synth. And that's it, we're ready to print the channels. You can see the overview being calculated, the mixer, Reason's just doing its thing. And Pro Tools is recording it either in the foreground or the background. And I'll hit stop. Now once you've finished recording, go ahead and take the tracks out of record ready. There we go. I'll alt or option drag a copy of the effects send. And then I'll select the two instrument tracks and come up and make them inactive. That way you can free up CPU horsepower once you've finished working with Reason Adapted.